this video, we paint the barrel shroud and try out a little bit of wet blending. All right, the plan is to try out some wet blending. I'm gonna do it in these uh, warm uh, brownish colors. So that's what I'm gonna use for the dark brown. And then here's a medium color and then a lighter color brown. This is the triad from Citadel. And we're gonna mix in a little bit of glaze medium, not to make a glaze, but one of the properties of glaze medium, as it says here on the back, is that it does uh, slow drying time. And uh, my friend local game store has been out of retarded medium for a while, so I'm gonna try glaze medium. Uh, Sarastro uses it, seems to work for him. So start off, uh, I decided to do a entire coat of the dark brown because um, it was going on pretty thin. So I did a full base coat of that before I started wet blending on top of it, just so that I would get um, a good opaque layer and you wouldn't see the uh, white base coat shining through. All right, after that dried, started with the wet blending. I'm leaving a lot of video in this one just so you can kind of see what I was trying to do. But basically, I got some of the uh, dark brown here on my brush and I'm laying down a coat of that where I think you know the more shadows would be and then with my brush still wet the paint still wet i'm just going to take it and dip it in the medium tone brown and then just start laying that on top of the already wet paint so that it is blending together a bit and as i'm moving my way up i'm using more of the mid-tone brown and then i'm even switching to the really light brown once i get up to the top and around the hood on the face and I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm just uh, gr moving back and forth between the colors and uh, layering them on top of one another. And I did a whole layer of this all the way around the mini. And then I let it dry. And then I came back and did it again. So like right here, I think I'm using uh, the mid-tone. And then I'm gonna go back and get some of the lightest tone and put it over the top of that and just any you know the ridges the peaks and uh, anywhere I think that the light would catch a little bit more and I'm doing the wet blending to help kind of smooth out the transitions and it's a useful technique and I want to practice it so back to the dark tone and just layering it on a second layer of the paint here and then we're going to switch to the mid tone and then jump up to the lightest tone once we get to the top and just repeat this process over and over and over again. I'm using the mid-tone brown here, and then I'm gonna go back and get the lightest tone and go over just the very tops of the ridges. And um, after I've done this side, I'm gonna go and do the hood. And for the hood, I did clean my brush and went back and I just got the mid-tone brown and then did the whole hood in that and then went back and got the lighter tone and did the tops of the ridges and the edges there. So this is the light tone and I'm just kind of getting the peaks of the ridges. I'm going to do around the edge. And I think after this, I let the whole thing dry and then I went back and I did another um, layer of dry brushing with the mid-tone and the uh, light tone. All right, I let the uh, whole model dry, then I went back and I'm gonna reinforce both the mid-tone and the light tone. So I'm just doing the tops of the ridges or this part where the shoulder's poking out and along those other ridges. And then I went and got a little bit of the light tone and started doing the very tops of those portions. And so I just reinforced this around the miniature um, a little bit more.
All right, with that done, I'm gonna use some Reichland Flesh Shade, and this is gonna warm up all the colors a little bit more and help smooth out the transitions between the colors. And I'm doing a pretty thin layer of this. It's almost like glazing over it. Um, it's not, there's not really even enough to pool and pushing it into the recesses a little more, but this is to kind of help smooth out the transitions and warm up the colors even a little bit more than it was. And that is what we have. I, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I could have pushed some of the contrast some more, but this is, I tend to be a little more cautious when I'm first learning or experimenting with a technique. So we're gonna keep doing this with all the other guys. I'm gonna use some different colors, but I'm gonna try to stick with triad-esque kind of things and then smooth them out with a wash and we'll see how they all come out. That is how I've been hobbying lately. Please let me know how you've been hobbying lately down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to get daily hobby videos, consider subscribing. If you want a preview of my next painting video, check out my Rumble. I do the occasional blog post related to the channel over on my Tumblr. And you can also follow me on Instagram.